Family friends, welcome back to the channel. I enjoy doing the Burke and the Flea review with you. Today we're gonna to do some, something a little bit different, okay? But I've been kind of looking forward to doing this. Um, Rakia, otherwise called Rocky. Um, it's not just an Albanian thing, it's throughout the Balkans. They're, they're, they're very proud of it. And uh, today we're gonna to review different kinds of Rocky, meaning different kinds of fruit that make up Rocky. And I'm leaving a lot out. I've even heard there's Rocky made uh, from a tree. I don't know how you would ferment a tree. You know, I, I don't know. We got four different kinds. We got grape, okay. We have plum. We also have blackberry. And what I want to do is make sure that uh, this is manufactured in Albania, okay. We also have the homemade Rocky. Now they're allowed, they, they have stills. That's what I would call them. Stills in their backyard, you know, where they're making Rocky and they can do it and they can they sell it to the bazaar. Now, what you gotta be careful of, see, Rocky, water. The homemade stuff they put inside old water bottles. So, a lot of times I'll have Rocky out and I'll chase it with some water. You, get, you better make sure you grab the right bottle. So, what I do is I always give, I always give a sniff to make sure it's water. Um, but it's interesting that uh, the reasons for it, and when I say reasons, reasons to have a rocket. Uh, I've had so many Albanians, and they go, no, no, you have it in the morning with your coffee. You know, it's good for the heart, it's blood, blood pumping. I, I, I can't have rocky in the morning, the day be ruined. You know? They say, no, just a little bit, you know. But uh, rocky in the morning, I, I can't do it. It's actually considered a brandy. Uh, to me, it's not a brandy. I mean, if you have a still, I call it moonshine. I don't mean that in any disrespect, okay? But uh, I think it's neat, you know? Now, the only one that I've had, I have a young man in the bazaar, he hooks me up on his own. I think it's him or his father, you know, makes that uh, you know, it's a tough one. But let, let's try some different ones, okay? First, we're gonna try the grape, okay? It's mostly clear, okay? We're just gonna do like a shot. All right. Okay. Here's the grape. Uh, cheers to America, and over here they say Gazur for the Albanians. So Gazur. <laughs> it don't taste great, but a clean shot. Oh, you know I never asked. Maybe okay. My Albanian brothers and sisters. I always see people drink this straight, neat, just a shot. Can you mix this with anything? I imagine you could. You know, what's the best thing to mix Rocky with to make a mixed drink? Do I treat it like a vodka and get cranberry juice or orange juice or something? I don't know. So me we'll have a conversation. Uh, today we didn't, uh, me and Ava really didn't do much. We just kicked back, you know, so. But uh, had a beautiful day. Went out to dinner. We What we were doing, uh, we would have dinner early at like three in the afternoon. And then at nighttime, April would make a beautiful salad. Oh, salads are fantastic. No iceberg lettuce, no, 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 no. Cucumbers, tomatoes, olives, feta cheese, you know, boom. And then we would have that at night. But now it's gotten really warm. You know, it's gotten really warm. So what, what we're doing, we're trying to do uh, what I see other families do. What I, I think is beautiful. I'm sure I discussed this before, that once the sun sets, all the families go out together. And you'll see them doing walks together at cafes together, or even bars together. Uh, it's nice. It's really nice. You know, I'm glad they do that. But let's go to the next Rocky. This one is the plum. Ever had a plum? Like I said, we're just going to do a little shot. Yeah. Don't want to get sloppy. At the end of this video, oh, here's the plum. It does smell a, a little bit different than the grape. Woohoo! Oh, inferno, the fire right there. Ooh. That plum has that bad mother. There is a slight different taste, like the aftertaste. I would call it plum though, you know? But, uh, ooh. Give me a kick. Okay, so that was interesting. I know there's a bunch of different kinds. I've seen some videos where they would give you like a flat of like eight different kinds of Rocky or something like that. 
So I guess it's whatever you want to choose a ferment. I just think it's so neat that you can walk in someone's backyard and they got a still. You know? Yeah, it's amazing. And they can sell it. Let's try this one. What do we got here? Uh, this is the blackberry. You can see the color slightly different. Okay. Now I was told, uh, I don't know if it's true, the clearer the rocky is, the stronger it is. Is there a truth to that? I don't know. My Albanian brothers and sisters, help me out there. Okay, here's a shot of blackberries. You know what I'm going to do beforehand, though? Let me wash down a little bit of water. Help out my throat here. Like I said, since the homemade rocky is in the same kind of water bottles, I always make sure. I tell about the condensation that's been in the fridge with water. But still give it a sniff. All right. We washed it down. Okay. All right. When I say we were, okay. Blackberry. There is a difference in the smell. Not as as a punch like that, that plum did. What a great little, I don't know if smoother is the right word, but I didn't feel like my throat got attacked by a flamethrower, if you know what I mean. Again, I, I, I don't taste the blackberry, but it is different. Uh, it is different. Each one of them is different, okay? Do I prefer one? I don't know. I really need to know if I can mix this with anything except doing shots. Okay. Excuse me, I burped. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm burping again. That's rude. Forgive me. There it goes again. Oh. Okay. Let me drink some more water. Okay. It's going to be one of those nights, I have a feeling. That's the water. Okay. Now the grand did. Like I said, young man in the bazaar is hooking me up with this. And uh, I told you about Mario before. Runs that restaurant, Mish restaurant, right? You handed a bazaar. And uh, he's bringing me some Rocky from his dad's house. Now, he's very proud of it. And uh, he's doing, oh, gosh, let me show you something. So Mario runs this restaurant, comes over with this bottle. You see how dark this is? You know what this is? This is olive oil. Pure. He has 120, um, 120 olive trees. And his wife picks them, mashes them to make this olive oil. This is homemade olive oil, 100% pure. And just gives it to me. I made friends with this guy. I go, dude, let me pay for this. He goes, no, no, no. My house to your house. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just flattered. Uh, so I, I'm going to get him some, okay? There's nothing on, on the slide. He's not being tricky. He's just nice people. Then, like I said, the best thing you can do is just be polite. And uh, you wouldn't believe. Once they know you, man, their heart opens up. But we've been procrastinating long enough. So here's the here's the homemade Rocky. When I say pure looking, I mean I, it looks like water. Trust me, it's not. Okay, let's go. Oop, I already had some in there. That's a double shot. Maybe a shot I have. Here we go. It smells like rocket fuel, to be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, like I said, it's like their national drink. Uh, you're sad, get a rocky. You're happy, get a rocky. Morning, have a rocky. It's good for the heart, good for the blood flow. Uh, you feel bad, you had an argument with somebody, now you want to make up. Make up with a rocky. You know, that's just the way it is. I think the full name is pronounced Rakia. But I want to share this with you. Uh, let me see what else we want to talk about. Uh, oh, uh, check this out. I've never heard of this. Now, I'm not like food guru, so. You know, don't hold it against me. But I've never seen this before. It's a tomato. And it was dark. And so I asked, the, you know, the girl. And, um, there was a grocery store that I did two videos on. They're really nice to me. So I go, what? what? And she goes, it, we call it a black tomato. And what's interesting, so it doesn't 
you know, it just looks on to me. And when I open up, it's not as sweet, but it's like more earthy tasting, if that makes any sense. And April goes, yeah, that'd be great in a sandwich because it's not as runny. You know what I'm saying? When you slice it, you actually, boom, you get, you get that solid piece. It's not mushy like a regular red tomato would be. Don't get me wrong, I like red tomatoes. But uh, very interesting though. And I, I Google it, right? And it, I guess the mainstay was in Ukraine. But they're growing it here as, as, as well. I'm sure they're growing throughout the Balkans now. But personally, i never seen it before. I'm sure many of you have. Is it in the United States? I bet. You know, i just never seen it. And uh, there's another vlog that I follow. And uh, they just went back to Canada and he said something and I understand exactly what he meant. They go to a grocery store now. They've been away from Canada for a long time, at least a year straight. And then they would visit and go back, go visit. When I say go back, go back to the world. And uh, he goes, you know, uh, what I've noticed about in Canada, it's the same thing in America. He goes, like bananas. And they all look the same. Same size, uh, shiny yellow, same thing tomatoes. He goes, it almost looks manufactured. And I, I understand exactly what I meant. He goes, he goes, it looked like if you grabbed a tomato and you cloned it, and that is all the tomatoes. Where in Albania and, and mostly the rest of the world, you have different sizes, slightly different colors. You know what I'm saying? Where uh, the fruits and now are almost looking manufactured in America. I understood what he meant. I understood what he meant. I wasn't cutting it down. I was just making out a point. But uh, what's beautiful here is all your food is just organic. Okay. Can I find processed food? Yeah, but um, you almost got to look for it, okay? Uh, the salads are dirt cheap. Um, the salads of April mates is not a, not, a, not a part of iceberg lettuce in there. Not cucumbers, uh, olives. The olives are obviously fantastic. And like I said, the people are just being so kind to us. You know what I'm saying? Only because if I don't act cocky, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah, well, and I've seen people act cocky before, don't. You know, they're good people. We're going to have a little bit more rocky. Okay. Yeah, we're just talking. You know, just me and you. You know, between, the, and I know there's many, uh, the, the easiest one to put down is the, uh, the blackberry for me. And granted, these are just four different Rockies. I know there's many. That was a homemade one. But things are going really well. So um, I couldn't be happier. It is heating up. You know, it's June. It's on now. And uh, I was told this by Chris Forte, and he's, he's exactly right. A lot of times during the daytime, it's like a ghost town. The only the people that are really out are the tourists and the people working. And then becomes sunset, you know, everybody goes out, you know. So uh, things are going well. Uh, I'm grateful to the people I've met. I'm grateful to you. Thanks for watching, man, and the, and the subscribers. Thank you. Um, I'm shocked at that, you know, but uh, appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Be careful out there, okay? All right, bye-bye.